Hi there. I'm Michael Schuster, and uh, I'll wait. Anyway, I wanted to let you know that I'm not going to be able to do the show tonight. I'm sorry. Whoa, Mike, Mike, whoa, huh? what are you doing? We need you, buddy. Come on, don't need a dick. <laughs> well, look, I'm sorry, Josh. I really want to do the show, but the thing is, I... I look just... who just got elected the mayor of Dishtown. So I heard you were dropping on the show tonight, Mike? Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is... Just tell us what it is. I don't have a catchphrase of my own. <laughs> is that it? I thought it was something important. It is. Every week, the audience looks forward to hearing Josh say, don't eat a dick. That's true. I do have my fans. Yeah. <laughs> and Elena, you sell t-shirts in the lobby that say, congrats, you're the mayor of Douchetown. Hey, that reminds me. You still owe me money for the one you bought last week. Well, oh, relax. I'll get you back. Hey, wait, hey. That could be my catchphrase. Relax. I'll get you back. Mm. No, Mom. No. Mm -mm. You might as well eat a dick. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. How about, I should warn you, vagina is my kryptonite. <laughs> okay, you know what? If that catchphrase had a face, it would be featured on Douche Town's Most Wanted. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, hold on. Um, how about, looks like this party just moved into my pants. Sorry, I can't hear you. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full from eating a dick. <laughs> okay, um, all right, how about this? If you were any more awesome, you'd be me. Looks like somebody just bought a townhouse in a douchopolis. <sighs> all right, you know what? I'm sick of this shit. Why don't the both of you call up the mothership and ask them to take you back home to your home planet of go fuck yourselves? I'm out of here. It's a little long, but I think that's the best catchphrase ever. Ooh, ooh, I call dibs. Well, doesn't that just eat a dick? Ladies and gentlemen, from the famous Acme Comedy Theater in Hollywood, it's Acme Tonight. Starring Tanya Lee Bayless, Chris Grenwell, Elena Fasson, Matt Key, Jessica Lovelace Chandler, Lori Nazalillo, Josh Paget, Michael Schuster, Body Mouth, Mary Van Leuven. Our musical director on the keyboard is Jonathan Green. The director of this whole dealio is Mr. Kerr Dietrich. Well, hi, my name is Corey. Corey Sussman. Hi. It looks like you're waiting for the bus. Yep. My powder blue Nissan stands, I won't work anymore. When I ride on the bus, I like to pretend it's a pretty unicorn galloping on a rainbow of hope. Wow. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I have never thought about it that way. Well, that's OK. My favorite hobby is making cupcakes. Do you like cupcakes? Yeah, cupcakes are delicious. Look, I just want to sit here in peace, so... If I could have any cupcake right now, it'd be a chocolate one with a picture of Daniel Webster on it. Daniel Webster. <laughs> Daniel Webster. He's the greatest American hero. He, both fought, he fought both the devil and the status quo. Yes. Yes, he certainly did. So, I'm just going to slide down over here. <laughs> Some dinosaurs were the sizes of buses. My least favorite dinosaur is the Dimetrodon. It's a walking contradiction. It has a sail on its back, but it never goes into the water. 
Why are you talking to me? Because I'm enjoying our conversation. You're an adept listener and a brilliant conversationalist. No. No, I'm not. I am not either of those things. Where is the bus? Come on, bus. Wait. Which bus are you going on? I'll tell you where I'm not going. Uganda. It's my least favorite country. It sounds like an open question. Uganda? Where? Where are Uganda? I don't know how to answer it. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Hey, look at someone else you can talk to. Why don't you go talk to her? She looks like a naughty girl who does naughty things to naughty boys. <laughs> Why would you say that? Excuse me, sir. Um, would you have a time? Tan. Cool. Thank you. You talk by ear out for like 10 minutes. That's all you're going to say to her. If I could be an angel or a demon for one day, I would choose to be the angel of death. But not because I want to kill people. I just play pranks on everyone. <laughs> okay, look. I don't care about what kind of angel you'd be or what your favorite dinosaur is. Least favorite. I don't care. I just want to sit here in peace and not talk. To you. Okay? Thank you. I love cats. I have two of them. My first one was Betsy Ross, and then I got a second one named Horatio Alger. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Hi, I'm Cory, Cory Sussman. My favorite Aztec deity is the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl. It had the body of a serpent, but it has toucan feathers on it. But this toucan doesn't eat cereal. It drinks human blood. told her to meet us here at Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. <laughs> yeah, why? Sarah hates it so much, she passed around a petition trying to get the health department to shut them down. Oh, you're exaggerating. No one cares that much about coffee. Sarah does. Sarah does. <laughs> <laughs> You got Allison's message. Oh, I got the message. Loud and clear. <laughs> Apparently the two of you want me to drop dead. <laughs> what did I do to deserve that kind of animosity? What? I, we had an agreement that you just shat on. She <laughs> agreed to meet at Starbucks. Well, you know, we just thought that since, you know, we were here. And then I get this passive-aggressive message that says, hey, Sarah, drop dead. We're going to drink a swell over at Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. Okay, Sarah, come on. We're just friends, hanging out. I'd rather head. <laughs> Don't be silly. Here, take a sip of my mochaccino. It is really good. You couldn't pay me enough. What's the problem? It's just coffee. It's not just coffee, Allison. And I swear to God, I don't know what I'll do if you say anything like that again. It's not just okay, coffee. Okay, everybody calm down. Let's just calm down. It's just coffee. And just coffee? You You're make me sick. Starbucks coffee is what heaven must taste like. <laughs> You're wearing a Starbucks t-shirt. Do you work there? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish. Did 
you make that shirt? I don't think that's important. Okay. <laughs> You know what, Sarah? If you if it means that much to you, we can go to the Starbucks across the street. Oh no, it's too late. You sullied it for me. <laughs> Sir, I think you're being ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous? Tell that to the migrant workers who pick coffee beans until their fingers bleed just to be on board the Starbucks train. Uh huh. look, it's the same beans. Coffee bean uses the same beans. They're no, the no, same no, no, beans. No, 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 Please, for the love no, of God, shut up! Breaking up with him because he rides a unicycle? Oh, yeah. Really? That's ridiculous. He's a great guy. I've known him since grade school. What do you care if he rides a unicycle? Look, it just wouldn't work out, okay? I, I'm like more of a bicycle kind of girl. Oh, oh my god. You are so nitpicky. I'm not. Yes, you are. You totally are. What about James? James, who wore wood jewelry? <laughs> so who cares? Maybe it was a gift. Maybe it has sentimental value. Maybe his dead grandmother gave it to him. Besides, he can take it off. You know what? If someone wears wood jewelry, it speaks volumes about the type of person he is. Not to mention his finances. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It does not. And besides, if you're worried about finances, why'd you break up with Pete, the cardiologist? He was loaded. Um, he hates tomatoes. <laughs> you broke up with him because he hates tomatoes. Hello, I'm Italian. How would that ever work out? <laughs> oh my God. That's it. I'm not, I'm not setting you up with anyone else. You're too nitpicky. Everyone has a fatal flaw with you. Fine, if all your friends are uh, tomato-hating, um, wood jewelry-wearing unicyclists. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Ted from the gym? Yeah. Was he calling me for a date? Yeah, I told him you were out riding your unicycle. <laughs> Bob, I think that Sharon and Ronna were just about to tell us about the time when they were in college and they Yeah, were... yeah, yeah, I heard, okay. Yeah, and you still cut me off? Honey, I thought that we agreed we would not talk <laughs> about our previous sexual exploits. 
Yeah, okay, but I wasn't going to tell you about me and another man. I was going to tell you about me and another woman. Yeah, okay, I get it, but it's still the same. It's a story about you and someone who's not me. And, <laughs> I mean, and besides, it's besides, like... Besides what? I'm just not that into lesbians. What? <laughs> but you're, you're a guy. Every guy is into lesbians. Why? Why? I look at that and I just see two people who don't need me. <laughs> That's not sexy. Not sexy? No. But you can imagine, right? It's like... Oh, oh, oops. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, yeah, that's not see, true. see, why Why can't you be into that? Yeah. Are you sure you're not into girl on girl? I'm positive. Well, look, maybe we should test this out. Like, what if I, um, yes. what if I went like this? All right, great. Nothing. Can we go eat? What? That's not working for you? It's no. working for me. See? I mean, that's, that's how a normal guy reacts. I'm abnormal because I don't dig two chicks kissing. Um, Would you like it if I kissed? <laughs> Ew. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Gross. See? Same thing. Okay, so it, it, it's not the same, though, because, you know, it, it, look, I'm going to prove to you that lesbians are hot, okay? Um, here. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> You have really nice breath. <laughs> Thanks. Are, are you sure this isn't turning you on? Yep, it's not turning me on. Mm. Nothing. You want to watch? I would rather it was me grabbing her boob. Now I'm just watching someone else do it. So go ahead and stop now. Please don't. <laughs> oh. Look, why can't you react the way every other man would, okay? What, are you gay? No, <laughs> I'm not gay. Are you? Because <laughs> this is still going on. Um, look, I, I could be a little gay to, to turn you on, but apparently it's wasted on you. Yep. Wait, you know what? I have, um, I have one more idea. Yes. 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 How about that? Wow. Pretty fucking sexy, huh? No. Do it again! No. That's not sexy. You know what that is? That's you cheating on me in front of my face with another woman. That is the opposite of sexy. Whatever that is, that's that. Are you sure? Really? Really nothing? Nothing? No. Well, fine. Well, yeah. Fine, just go. Uh, you, you know, he's gone. You could stop now. Any minute now, really. <sighs> Beginning to see his point. conversation like five minutes ago. No, we didn't. No, she was just here like five minutes ago, and she forgot to bring the check then. We better go. <laughs> I don't want to be opening credits. Oh, you dropped something? Oh, thanks. Can I get you to a repo? Oh, no, thanks. Just a check. Some weather we're having, huh? We need more rain or we're going to have to build an ark. <laughs> <laughs> it, just, it just happened again. The exact same conversation. Same conversation. Uh, yeah, basically. I mean, 
I, I know what you're going to say next. Come on, we better go. I don't want to I don't want to miss the OP credits. credits. And then you drop your keys. How did you know I was going to do that? Because it's happened now, like, five minutes ago and seven minutes ago. Oh, my God. Drop something. Can I get you two a refill? No, thanks. Just a chip. Are, are, you, are you kidding me? Right? No. Six. Okay, you know what? I would love to have a refill and for this insidious cycle to stop. Some weather we're having, huh? Any more rain, I'm going to have to build an ark. <laughs> I feel like I'm losing my friggin' mind. You're not hearing this. You're not, you don't feel this at all? Okay, no, wait, good. okay. So she comes in and she's like, hey, you want anything else? And you're like, no, I'm good, I'm all cool. It's just a check. And you're like, oh, hey, it's some weather. And she's like, oh, hey, you dropped your keys. And then you make a joke about it, Art, and you, ha, 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 I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do next. I'm afraid to even ask uh, I'm gonna break this. We're good. <laughs> we should go. I don't wanna miss the opening credits. Ha! We are you gonna fix something up? We are you gonna do that? Where's the check, huh? Huh? Um, can I get you to a- Fuck the coffee refill! I would rather talk about the weather. Some weather we're having, huh? Oh, I know we should build a frickin' ark! Cause it's gonna rain!
just when you think Dana is going to put another uh, what the fuck rabbit out of her hand, she goes and pulls this stun, right? No, I, I think the bombshell of the week is that Michael Schuster is dating Mary Van Leeuwen. <laughs> actually, honey, it's a rumor. Like, that's actually her manager. Oh. Well, it's a good thing uh, to hear that they're not getting married, because they kind of look like a low-rent version of Dragon as Daisy. Yeah, seriously, you guys look like a low-rent version of Beauty and the Jew. Susan here is pretty sweet on you, I have to say. Well, stop. Yeah, Bill, don't 
embarrass Susan. Uh, so, Max, what do you do for a living? Well, uh, I'm, I'm kind of between jobs right now. But I used to be in the industry. Oh, wow, uh, films. Oh, yeah, 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 sweet gig. Uh, but I got out of it because I was afraid of them shots. Shots? Yeah, I mean, to test you for diseases and shit. I mean, it's like, look, we're making a porno. It's not like I'm making a fucking sandwich here, you know? Like, Jesus Christ. You, uh, you were a porn star. No, no, I, I wasn't a star. I was, I was an extra. Just, you know. Don't sell yourself short. Max was a porn background actor. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I didn't know that porn had background actors. You ain't watching the right kind of porn, my friend. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is classy. It's got ambience. Uh, you know, so, hey, listen, I'm sorry to cut it short. I gotta drain my crank box. So I'll be, you know, I'll be right back and everything. Just, uh, Oh, this is... Oh. Mm -hmm. You've been using your face cream? <laughs> yes, can you tell? I can tell. Oh, this is delicious. It's cucumber. All right. Hey, order me some fettuccine, baby. <laughs> so? What do you think? Isn't he great? No. <laughs> some kind of a joke? Susan... He's a porn extra? I don't know. Did you see his little mustache? It's, it's adorable. It's like a little date rapist stash. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like a rapist rapist stash. Yeah. He's kind of creepy. Super creepy. Well, so he's a little creepy. I think that's okay. No, Susan, you're too old for that kind of shit. No, Bill, I'm too old to die of boredom. It adds adventure to our relationship. If by adventure you mean herpes. <laughs> what did you guys do this weekend? Oh, we went to that new Mexican place on, uh, on Fifth Street, and then we saw a movie. Mm -hmm. Sounds typical. You want to know what I did? No. <laughs> Last I weekend, Max took me to El Paso in his buddy's van, and then he bought some shrooms from a kid at a Mackley convention. We spent the whole weekend getting high as a kite, camping out at a Burger King. <laughs> It was so cool! What the fuck, Susan? Actually, it, it does kind of sound bohemian and exciting. Yeah. No, that wasn't bohemian. That's, he kidnapped you and took you to El Paso. Oh, Bill. <laughs> it's not bohemian, it's criminal. <laughs> True, Susan? Hey, hey, babe, my pager's going off like a buzzard. Can I borrow a couple quarters or something? Well, you know, I don't have that, but I, I have a hundred dollar bill. That'll do, that'll do. Oh, well, you know, you can just use my cell phone. Oh, uh, come on, technology ruins my mojo, baby. You don't want me to get brain cancer or something, do you? <laughs> Won't be able to fuck anymore. <laughs> see? Do you see that? He stole money from you. Oh, no, he'll pay me back. I doubt it, because, I'm going to say this again because it bears repeating. He took you camping at a Burger King. Yeah, but he's not into fast food. Okay, this week he prepared me a home-cooked meal. Oh, that's actually, uh, that's really sweet and thoughtful. See, Bill, he's, uh, he's got a home. He can't be that creepy. Yeah, as a matter of fact, it's three houses down from you guys. No, that's the Johnson's house. Hey, wasn't their house broken into last week? He broke into our neighbor's house to cook you dinner. He's a kidnapping, criminal, vagabond, house looter, Susan. Well, look, they said nothing was stolen. Right, right, he just needed a place to cook me a meal. He washed the dishes, <laughs> put them up in the cupboards and everything. It was really nice. Oh, well, yeah, no, that is romantic. No, yeah, that's romantic. no, that, that's not romantic, it's criminal. I want to have romantic. his baby. <laughs> you should do it, do it. Hey, so I talked about Angel while I was in the shitter. Turns out I don't got to do shots anymore. Dinner's on me, ladies. <laughs> How sweet. Heck, you know what? Actually, we should we should probably get this to go. Uh, for, for like now. We, we, let's go. You know what? Let's just leave right now, please. Right soon. Soon. We need to. No, I've looked everywhere. I'm really worried. 
Indeed. Mr. Snuggles, he's been missing for an hour. <laughs> but I called this place that I found on the internet. They're going to send over a professional animal trapper to help me find him. Oh, that must be him. I got to go. Hello? Vicky Steele, critter catcher at your service. Thank you, thank you. Here you got a critter on the prowl up in here. Don't you worry, I'll kill the loathsome beast. No, no, I don't want you to kill him. It's just, it's just my hamster. You don't know that. You don't know. It could be a raccoon, a possum, a weasel, a muskrat, a woodchuck, a crazy prairie dog, a cougar, a baby. A baby what? A human baby. No, it's not, it's a hamster. His name is Mr. Snuggles, and he's my pet. What kind of sick fuck invites that sort of furry, ferocious fury into his own domain? It's not abnormal to have a pet. Shh. Shh. I didn't say anything. Shut up! Well, I don't know what you're looking for, but I think I lost him in the bedroom. Oh, he's long gone from there by now. He's probably skirting around in these here walls here. They get in the vents like they got something to hide. Don't you? Don't you, Mr. Snuggles? Don't you? <laughs> don't worry, critter. I'll find you. And then it's just you and me. Oh, you know, wouldn't ya? I think it's time to pull out a little bit of bait. Every critter loves peanut butter mixed with cat food. Mmm, there ain't no way that little feller can say no to this. You want a taste? No. <laughs> on his way over, I, um, I'm setting him up with someone new. Okay, you're fixing up your ex-boyfriend with a new girl? Well, sort of. But you're still totally in love with him. Exactly. Which is why I'm going to set him up with someone horrible so he sees how wonderful I am in comparison and comes running back to me. Okay, but what if he actually likes her? Yeah, not a chance. Actually, I, uh, I think it's his date. Hello? Erica, come yes. in. Yes? Um, Val, can I talk to you? Yeah. <laughs> That's a man in a dress. I know, right? I found it on Craigslist. <laughs> okay, but, um, I'm pretty sure that Alex is going to know that you're not really trying to fix him up with someone good. Okay, don't be so sure. Alex is a little slow. 
Sure. You know, I'll have a tall drink of this lady right here next to me, huh? <laughs> um, Alex. Alex, can, yeah. I, uh, can I talk to you for just a second? Uh, oh, sure. Yeah. So, what do you, what do you think of Erica? Oh, she's perfect. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. But, uh, she's... What? She's a man in a dress. Why would you say something like that? Because you know, I, I thought you could handle setting me up with somebody new, but apparently you're still obviously not over me. But to, to say Erica's a man? Erica is a man in a dress. She's a big, hairy, big, 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 hairy, hairy, hairy man <laughs> in a dress. Erica, honey, would you care to join me for dinner someplace else? Yes, please. Sag Vindaloo for the lady, and extra spicy lamb Vindaloo for the gentleman. Enjoy. Thank you. Have you ever had spicy Indian food before? No, uh, but I've had spicy, te like extra spicy hot Tex-Mex, mm -hmm. and Mexican use like habanero peppers, and those are like the hottest things on earth, so I think I can handle India's version of spicy. Oh, so you're a big strong man, huh? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's, um, it's good. Mm. It's got a bit of a kick to it, though. Yeah. yeah a, little, a little bit, a little, a little bit. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not that spicy, though. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, who the fuck makes food this spicy? You okay? Oh, my fuck me. Who invented this? Who said to themselves, oh, I know. I'm going to put fiery hot death into a recipe. Uh, Pete. Oh, my uh, God. I... Honestly. The lords of the underworld have unleashed the Hellhound Cerberus, and he's actively pissing fire into the corners of my mouth. You asked for it extra I hot. I didn't ask them to kill me! Is it actually possible to chop up Satan into little spices and then put Satan spice on this godforsaken meal? Pete, are you okay? Oh my god, it's as if the entire country of India is seeking retribution against the sins of the West through this meal. Pete, oh you're my god. acting like a baby. A baby? My mouth has its own weather system, and the forecast calls for fucked. I warned you. I've got a fat Marlon Brando dropping lines of napalm on my tongue. Oh my god. You're being a bit dramatic. Dramatic? A much skinnier Coppola is filming Apocalypse Now on my mouth. It's the battle of fucking Hanoi. Why would the loving God allow this? God did not do this to you, Pete. Because there is no God, Ashley. Oh my god, my mouth is a furnace. I I think it's bidding time. Oh my god, I can hear my mom. No, mom, I don't want to put on those slacks. They hurt. Oh. I don't like those slacks. Pete, that's impossible. No, what's not impossible is that I won't have a heart attack by the end of the night. If this food cured cancer, people would still choose to die of cancer. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, god. Okay, okay, have some of my water. Okay, okay. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. Better? Yeah. I think so. I think I'm gonna make it. Oh god. Oh. Do you wanna order something oh. else? Maybe something a little less spicy? Are you kidding me? This is the best food I've ever had. <laughs> I can't wait to eat it here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Mm. Oh. oh shit! I can actually feel my body actively rejecting my brain for deciding to address pure hellfire. My mouth is literally defying physics. 
Einstein is going, oops! It's, yeah, Einstein! It's like two porn stars are on fire, and they're actively fucking the insides of my mouth with their flaming genitals! Nice. Oh god, my cheek, oh! Debbie Ann Strickland, will you please do me Shut the through the heart, and you're to blame, nothing you give the bad name. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? I play my part, you play your game, darling, you give the Seriously, dude, you can see here that I'm trying to- A bad name. I'm trying to ask my girlfriend to marry me. That's a good, it's the guitar. It's the guitar. Trust me, buddy. You do not want to do this. I'm, I'm stopping this because you do not want to get married. I don't? Yes, he does. Yeah. Now, sure, you might seem happy now, but it's not always going to be candy-colored unicorns and leprechaun fairies. Why, why are you doing this? To save mankind from blood-sucking women. Don't make the same mistake I did, brother. You Valerie bitch. You don't even know me. You look just like my ex-wife, except she had golden blonde hair <laughs> and some sugar cakes you could not believe. Well, and that sounds nothing like Debbie. Oh, thanks a lot, Stephen. But don't you see? They're all the same. In here, you rotten she-devil. You can do better now. Much better. Maybe I could. No, he can't. See, yeah. she won't even let you think for yourself, brother. I don't want to. Debbie, I've never been happier in my life. I love you. See, ha, get out of here. <laughs> okay, second time's a charm, all right? Okay, forget what just happened. <sighs> Debbie Strickland, will you please? Love stings, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is ridiculous. Can someone just get the manager? Why? So he can stare into the cold, dead eyes of a gold digger? I am not a gold digger. Well, you did order the steak. Yeah, because it's called the steakhouse. Everyone orders the steak. Trust me, brother, it always, order, it always starts with ordering the steak. The next thing you know, she's fucking the pool guy. Someday she does both. But, but Debbie doesn't even know a pool guy, do you? No, Stephen, do not listen to this. Troubadour of woe. You see what I mean? Who says things like that? Can you imagine spending the rest of your life with this? No, it's true. Troubadour of woe is a horrible turn of phrase. Uh, a minute ago, you were about to marry me. Uh, you're right. You're right. No, you're, I know you're right. Okay. You're perfect. You're amazing. You're wonderful. You're lovely. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's pussy whipped. I'm not whipped. Am I, Dad? Please. I'm asking you. What is that? Oh my God, what if he's right? Oh, I'm right, brother. I'm right. Okay, he is not right. Please go away, or I swear I will shove those sunglasses where the sun don't shine. <laughs> Steven, uh, me, now. Uh, okay, all right. Um, yeah, okay. Forget everything. That, okay, yeah, you know, you're right, you're right. Okay, uh, okay. Debbie Strickland, please, make me. Whoa, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. She's a mad eater. Whoa. 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 They say we're young and we don't know. We won't find out until we grow. Here she comes. Well, I don't know if all that's true. Because you got me and baby, I got you. She's a mad eater. Babe. Babe. Oh. I, I got, got you, babe. babe. Here she comes. I, I got, got you, babe. babe. I got, I got you, babe. babe. She's a man eater. Come on, please, Ted 
Come on, Arthur.